Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on April 22nd, 2024. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well. Earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Always starting out here looking at our sun for the past 48 hours, as we've seen multiple solar flares, two M-class, small, moderate M-class solar flares, and as well, multiple sunspot regions and groupings so yeah active sun right now as we were expecting looking at the last 48 hours incoming crusting into view plasma filament prominence there in the left hand side spinning around in the southern hemisphere of our sun and in outgoing position here pretty active sunspot region here big grouping of about five sunspots Firing away multiple C-class solar flares. Having a look at multi-spectrum here, pointing out the last 48 hours of events. The two most active regions. And as well, pointing out coronal hole regions, which are the dark, dark blue regions on our sun. Cooled regions on our sun, and when they are earth-facing, they do increase our solar winds. As well, notable here, there is a plasma filament kind of shaped like the Omega. A horseshoe shape to it and another one in the Northern Hemisphere. Definitely going to be keeping an eye on those over the next two days. Watching for, hopefully, if they stay stabilized. Looking at 193 angstroms here, as we have multiple sunspot regions, there are 14 to talk about right now and show you another light here seeing at those sunspot regions in action and the surface of our sun in fluid motion amazing imagery here brought to you by solar dynamics observatory mixed with daily events worldwide and thank you for watching current space weather conditions right now are one minor radio blackout impacts and that is from the most recent Long duration M class solar flare. The solar winds are coming in right now at about 372 kilometers per second. Solar X ray flux, as you can see, long duration moderate M class solar flare, and as well a couple moderate M class solar flares last night. Solar proton flux is low, geomagnetic activity down to a comfortable KP2. A couple days ago, it did spike right up to a KP7 on the 20th. Having a look here at the Space Weather Prediction Center, showing their space weather spiral, no major CMEs thwarted our way or space weather events expected. ISWA Space Prediction Spiral here. That was the most recent CME taking off outgoing position. And this is the most recent models, not showing any major solar events. Looks like there on the right-hand side, we may get a glancing blow right around the 24th to 25th. Now let's get to earthquakes past 24 hours as we've had a very busy day, especially in Taiwan. Yet again, starting with a large 6.1 earthquake in the same region where all of the other earthquakes occurred a couple weeks ago, the 7.4 Hulian City, Taiwan, starting the day with a 6.1 and then also a 6.0. Deepest earthquake the last 24 hours, 557 kilometer depth, Fiji, and as well, pretty deep one here, Gontolo, Indonesia. Notable earthquakes there, Micronesia, tip of the Marianas Trench, and all of these earthquakes today in Taiwan. Got to wonder what's going on there. Thoughts and prayers going out to everybody affected. North American plate, pretty quiet. No swarms to talk about. And eerily quiet through Central America, South America. As all of the action seems to be on the other side of the planet right now. Greece, 4.4. As well as 4.6 there up in northern Tibet. But yeah. Multiple aftershocks today after the 6.1 magnitude earthquake. Right now, USGS is reporting 311, and that is well above average. 
in a 24 hour period. Give you a closer look here at exactly where these earthquakes occurred as the 6.1 was right on land, or sorry, the 6.1 was off land, and then the 6.0 magnitude was on land. Hulian City, Taiwan, and look at all these aftershocks, very widespread on the coast, off the coast, up into the mountains. Big shifts going on in our world right now, and happy Earth Day, everybody. This is our world update, our Earth up update. Having a look at North America, notable earthquake there at Ohio, Wallbridge, Ohio, and as well, minor seismicity continues. The same region, New Jersey, across California State, reporting about 137 earthquakes. No major swarms to talk about. And as well, notable activity here north and west of Yellowstone Volcano, Yellowstone Lake. Remnants of, of course, the biggest supervolcano on the planet. And that's the last 24 hours. Quick glance here at the last seven days for shakers around the world. Thoughts and prayers going out to everybody affected today in Taiwan. And as well, just stay safe, stay prepped. If you live in an earthquake prone zone, for instance, West Coast, United States, all across the West Ring of Fire and Northwest Ring of Fire, heads up, just be aware and prepared. That's what this channel is all about, sharing the info so you can get a heads up. And that's the last seven days for earthquakes around the world. As we've seen a slight increase recently and some large earthquakes now in Japan. Now let's have a quick look here at our SO2 forecast compared to the other day. Still a large particulate cloud of sulfur dioxide emissions through central regions of India, Indonesia, and as well Vietnam. Very thick particulates and it's sweeping right north and south across Australia and up into Japan. These are all SO2 missions brought to you by our 46 active and erupting volcanoes around the world. And that most recent eruption at Mount Rung, Indonesia, is the culprit of that large SO2 cloud. Overlooking Europe, no big changes. No new major eruptions to report, but a notable earthquake yesterday. Central Iceland. Iceland is still on watch with an ongoing eruption there. Now let's have a look at world weather starting off here in Europe and Africa. Multiple low pressure systems, small ones coming through this week. High pressure ridge dominant in the east. Systems stay mostly north. Until long-range forecast, you see a big system coming in from Iceland. Could see some pretty strong winds through Ireland and the United Kingdom. Overlooking the United States, some pretty abnormally cool temperatures hanging around here. Could see snow through parts of northern Ontario and Quebec. With that strong system moving through and as well, central United States and up into the Canadian prairies this week. Watch for extreme weather to break out. Low pressure system coming from the Gulf, smashing into that cold high will be the culprit for that. So extreme weather watch straight across the United States and up into Canada, long range. Overlooking Australia, Southeast Asia, and Africa. Possible cyclone developing in the long range for northern Madagascar. Heavy rains and stormy conditions sweeping across China and Japan this week. Other than that, no major cyclones or typhoons forecast in the long range here. Very dry Australia, so heads up all across the continent of Australia. No major systems coming through this week. 
quick look here overlooking the North Pacific as we still have multiple systems roaring up into the Alaskan Peninsula, Aleutian Islands, and then eventually BC and then down into Washington, you will see that moisture to start to spread. But what else will be spreading? The snow. Having a look here at the 10 day forecast showing snowfall totals, higher elevations across British Columbia and all through the Rockies and as well Ontario, Newfoundland and Quebec. Upwards of 90 centimeters of snow across the East Coast. Look around the rest of the world, higher elevations there through India, the Tibetan Plateau, and as well notable through Northern Mediterranean. Much love everybody, hope you enjoyed the show. Stay aware and prepared, stay young and have fun, and get your daily due. Bye bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family across the world.